What is going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Roberto from Roberto Magdalena and today we're gonna talk about the best clothing for men for dancing, whether it's bachata or kitsomba or salsa. I know how difficult it can be sometimes to decide what to wear when going out for dancing. This is because it gets really hot sometimes when dancing. It doesn't matter if it's a class or a party, it can get really hot and we want to look good, but we also want to be comfortable and we don't want to make the other person uncomfortable so it can be a little bit difficult to decide what to wear for dancing this is why i made this video today we're gonna tackle all of these points and i will give you some tips that will make your dancing a lot better so let's start Alright guys, before talking about the best clothing for dancing, we need to talk about the most important thing, which is having good hygiene. The last thing that you want is to be one of those guys that as soon as you step into the dance floor, you start smelling bad. Not only is this going to be really uncomfortable for your dance partner and for all of the people around you, but it's also not going to be that much fun for you because the people are not going to enjoy dancing with you. So your experience could be a lot better if you have good hygiene. So make sure to take a shower, to use the other end, and to use fresh clothes before going out dancing. And the second tip that I can give you before starting with the dance clothes is that you should bring a towel. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. I bring a towel myself. This is perfect, especially if you are a sweaty person. This way you can dry yourself up after every dance and you're not going to be so sweaty all the time. All right guys, so now let's start with shoes. Which shoes should you use? Do you really need to have dance shoes or are sneakers or dress shoes good enough? In this video, I'm gonna talk briefly about this and I will also make another video where I will go more in depth about dance shoes and which people should get them. So if you're interested in this topic, make sure to subscribe. If you are a beginner at dancing, I really don't think that you need dance shoes. Dance shoes can be quite expensive. So first you should find out if dancing is something that you really want to do. Now, if you are more advanced or you already know that dancing is something that you are going to stick with, I think that dance shoes are really, really, really a must and that you need to have at least one pair. There are many different types of dance shoes, but in this case, I would recommend for you to get some flat and flexible shoes like these ones, for example. These are perfect dance shoes for social dancing. Now, as you can see, one of them is more casual and the other one is more formal. This depends more on your personal style and what you're looking for in terms of how they look. You really don't need to have shoes that have a high heel. Like these ones that I showed you, these are perfect for parties or for dance classes. And also, in this case, I would recommend you to get a plastic sole instead of a leather sole. This is because they are going to last longer and you will be able to use them in all of the different types of floor that there are there and you don't really need to take care of them as much as if you are using shoes with a leather sole. Now, if you don't have any dance shoes or you can't get dance shoes or because you wanna save first some money or something because they're, they can be quite expensive, I would just recommend you to wear shoes that are really comfortable for you and also that on the bottom they have like this kind of sole where it's not that, how do you say it? It's with this one, when they're flat, you're going to be able to spin better, to turn better, and also to dance more comfortable. All right, guys, so now let's continue with pants. In this case, you really need pants that have stretch. When you're dancing, you're going to be moving a lot, you're going to be switching places, you're going to be changing your level, sometimes you're going to be bending your knees, so you really need to have pants that have enough stretch in order to do this. Otherwise, it's going to be really uncomfortable or they could rip. I'm telling you because of experience. <laughs> I have had pants that have ripped because they didn't have any stretch. Jeans or chinos are a perfect example when they have stretch of awesome pants that you can wear when going out dancing. But you need to make sure to only wear dark colors. This is because you're probably going to be sweating a lot and if you have a, a gray, a light gray or a lighter color, 
it's going to show and this can be really uncomfortable and you want to avoid this. Let's continue talking about t-shirts and shirts. And in this case, the most important tip that I can give you is that you need to bring multiple t-shirts or shirts to the party. And I'm not even kidding, I do it myself. You need to bring at least three, four, or even five different t-shirts that you can be swiping up and changing every half an hour. Because as you already know, or you will find out, you are going to be sweating quite a lot and your t-shirts are going to get really, really wet and this can be really uncomfortable for the woman you're dancing with. So just make sure to change them every half an hour and while you're at it, you can also use some deodorant and maybe some cologne and you're always going to be super fresh and believe me when I tell you, the woman you dance with, they will really appreciate it. Now, if you wear a shirt, just make sure to have an undershirt below it. This is because shirts have a thinner fabric than t-shirts or like this thick shirt. So this means that the sweat is going to show a lot more and the shirt is going to get really, really, really wet. And now guys, let's cover accessories quite fast. First of all, I don't really recommend you to wear any watches during dancing because as experience tells you, the watch can get stuck with the woman's hair and this can be really painful for her and it's also going to be an uncomfortable moment. And I also don't recommend wearing any hats or glasses. And this is because especially in bachata, you do a lot of head movement. So you either won't be able to perform the movement correctly and it's going to be really uncomfortable because you will be moving your head really careful not to drop them or you will perform the movement correctly, but you're going to drop your glasses or your hat and they might even break or you might cause an accident. So just avoid it and keep it simple, keep it stretchy, keep it dark and you're good to go. And now guys, if you're looking for some awesome tips and you want to know what followers expect from you and want from you when dancing, just make sure to check out this video and also make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you in the next time.